Hello, hello. With the start of a new school year upon us, I want to share with you three goals that I have set for my homeschool for this year. Hey there, friends. Happy Wednesday. It should be a Wednesday when I post this. Okay. Happy Wednesday, guys. I'm so glad you're here. My name is Ashley and I have been homeschooling my three kids for the last seven, eight years. I was just one of those moms who got super excited. My oldest was two and a half and I said, let's just homeschool now. <laughs> so that's just what I did. But anyway, if you don't know yet, if you haven't been following me in a while, I have a 10 year old, eight and a half year old and a newly six year old. So yes, those are my beautiful kiddos. And I love to share biblically based curriculum ideas some affordable homeschooling tips all under the umbrella of Charlotte Mason inspired homeschool. So hit that like button if you're ready to go and to talk about homeschool goals. I have to let you know, I have several other YouTube mamas who are joining me on this, sharing their goals for their homeschool for this year. I think it's really good to see other people's goals. I get inspired by them. Maybe you could get inspired by them. And I'm excited to watch everyone's videos after this one. So check out the playlist below and you can go see their videos that they did. Started, I like to pick a, a focus for the year. Some people call it like a word of the year, like you do at New Year's, um, but it's not always necessarily a word. It's just like a focus. Like what is the main thing the Lord wants us to focus on this year? Maybe that's for me as a mom, as a homeschool mom, or whether it's for a homeschool in general. And then I like to set a few specific goals for each of the kids individually. I know if I did all of my kids' goals in this video, it would take a while. So I'm gonna save that for another video. If you would like to see my specific goals for each of my kids, let me know down in the comments if that's a video you would like to see. But for this goal, I'm just gonna share, I mean, for this video, I'm just gonna share my general goals, three of them actually, for our general homeschool. I was also super inspired by Abby at Rooted in Rest. Uh, she shared in her atmosphere recap and homeschool theme video a few months ago and whatever she shared in that video really resonated with me and really did kind of inspire some of these goals that I'm setting for this year. Um, you can check out her video for that in the description as well. All right, now that I've intro everything, let's get into this. Let's talk about my three homeschool goals for this school year. Goal number one, my focus for the entire year is going to be connection over checklist. If you've been following me for a while, you might notice I've been saying this a lot lately, <laughs> at least throughout the summer. It's really just been brought to my attention that focusing a lot on just getting things done and having the checklist has really kind of overtaken my mindset recently. And I want to just get back to why we really are homeschooling. I want to get back to my kids <laughs> for goodness sake. They're the reason I homeschool. And I've really just kind of lost track of that. And I want to do better with that. It's really such a struggle with me because I know my weaknesses. I know that I can get easily distracted. I can get off track easily. I can get lazy and just not want to do the work. Like I know my weaknesses. So I think I might have overcompensated my weaknesses and just tried to do so hard and like make a checklist, follow the checklist, get it done. A, B, C, D, rinse, wash, repeat every day or wash, rinse, repeat. What is the phrase? I don't but when I was evaluating what I wanted to focus on this year, I just knew, again, it has to be making connections with the kids. I, I, yeah, I just need to make connections with them. I want to take more time to laugh and smile at them, looking at them in the face, being in the moment and simmering in the moments that we do have and inviting them into other things like doing laundry with me or, or going on walks together, just things like that. One of the ways I'm working on making connections or focus is these three things. I sat down and I thought about this and there's three specific things I wanna do that I think will help me and my kids in this homeschool year as well. First one is putting away distractions. And I've said this before, I've talked about it on my email list and an email before, but putting away distractions, my phone just has to go away. I just, I can't check that text or check that video or respond to that email. Like my phone just gets, it just adds up. That time gets away from me really easily. I have a block of time set aside for me to put my phone away. That's about 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. on most days. And that has helped a lot so far, so I'm gonna keep going with that. If you guys wanna keep me accountable, check in with me on that. Message me on Instagram, say, hey, how are you on your phone today? Get off your phone. 
So I'm not perfect in this, but I know this is gonna help me make connections so much better. The second thing I'm gonna do in trying to help this be accomplished is to invite them into my space and invite them into things that I'm already doing that they could do alongside me. And these are usually like the mundane tasks like washing dishes or folding laundry or weeding. I was doing some weeding recently or what was I doing? Making dinner. Making dinner was a good one. Um, so just things that are just part of my normal day where I will usually pop in my earbuds and just go to town and just listen to a podcast or an audiobook or catch up on YouTube videos. I'm trying to maybe invite the kids into that more instead of checking out and trying to have some me time. So I did this recently this week. We I had to make dinner and I invited my kids to come do it with me and it was great. I really enjoyed it. Not that I'm gonna do that every night, but you know what I mean. Like I'm gonna do that more often, inviting them into things that I'm already doing. There is a resource out there that I've been using over the last several years that a friend of mine made. Her name is Leanne from Intentional by Grace. She has Your Intentional Family Homeschool Planning Guide. She made that and that has been a huge help for me and inspiration as I set goals for my kids. Um, she's got like a husband interview. She's got like a child interview in there. Um, some things to just think about in general, where you're at as a whole as a family. Like, I don't know, lots of good things. I will leave a link to that in the description below. And I think you're gonna love that resource as well. So go ahead and check that out. I'm not sponsored for saying that at all. I don't get anything from it. I just think it's a great resource that I know that you could benefit from. So go check Leanne out. The next thing is I want to invite myself into their activities. I want to I want to join them in things that they're already doing, that things that they enjoy doing, like maybe sit and draw with them. Some of them like doing origami or even playing video games, which I used to love video games, but I've kind of fallen out of that, but my kids really do enjoy doing that. So just taking time out, letting things set aside and jump into playing things with them that they like to do. So I'm trying to connect with them in their space and not just inviting them into my space. And I think that will help a whole lot. Along with that, I'm trying to say yes more. I'm trying to say, mommy, can I go to the beach? Mommy, can I make cookies? Mommy, can I go to the skate park? And I'm trying to say yes to that more often. Did you guys see that movie? Uh, yes day. Yes day was really good. I don't necessarily want to have a yes day where we do all whatever the kids want every day But what I mean is is just Again doing things that they love to do and letting them pick the activities for the day and me just setting aside my agenda Maybe not all the time, but you know what I mean? <laughs> like saying yes to these things more often and Letting them feel heard and seen and listened to um, and I'm really excited for that All right, that brings me to goal number two and that is prioritizing school time. That's my second goal. <laughs> and you think if you're a homeschool mom that school just gets done and sometimes it just doesn't get done. <laughs> and I know like a lot of people say, you know, life is school and you know, you can school at any time. And that's why we homeschool throughout the year usually, but we do take breaks. But the problem is, is I noticed last year that play dates were pushing out school and errands were pushing out school and just other things that I noticed were pushing school out. I do think our family does do a good job of, you know, finding learning opportunities and everything and our errands that we run or the movies that we watch or the adventures we go on. I, I do think we do a good job of that, but sometimes all those things and those little adventures and stuff can tend to push out school and our lessons are actual like lessons. And last year, it just was not very consistent. And I, I saw that I, I need to be more consistent in it. Like, I'm not doing school just so the kids could not, I don't know, it's hard. I, I just know I need to be more consistent in it. And I'm blocking off Mondays through Thursdays, 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. is our school block. Will we get done in that time? You know, it depends. And we're still going to do fun things and all that. But we need to be consistent and have a nice time nice block of time set aside where we focus on school we'll see how that ebbs and flows throughout this year already but that is my goal is to prioritize our lesson time basically my goal number three is to master narration or maybe not master it but yeah work on it and be specific in it and get narration done so this is another thing i want to do and have kind of been doing unofficially but i want to prioritize it i want to get it done well 
So it's another thing that's moving to the top of the list, basically. I've been doing an unofficial narration for a long time. You know, after whatever book we read, I ask them what they read or what they heard or what they remember. But I wanted something a little more official, some more opportunities for written narrations and drawing narrations um, instead of just a, hey, tell me what you read or tell me what you heard. So we're going to be more specific in that. And Fridays is going to be our narration journal time. So I'm setting aside an actual time, again, like just trying to keep me accountable so it has a time for it. So we're not gonna do regular school, no readings on Fridays, unless they didn't get to it this week, but a lighter school day on Friday, and we're gonna include our narration journal time in that. And I felt like we never had an official like narration time last year, so it just got pushed out and didn't happen. So this year, it's on the schedule, Friday mornings, we just take 10 minutes, it really doesn't take too long, 10 minutes or so, and they get to pick one story or one book they read, or lesson that they did this week, each week, and then they draw about it and then they write about it. And that's gonna be our weekly narration time. And I think that's good because in the Charlotte Mason method, there's a lot of things that in building blocks you can do. And I was hearing a good friend talk about this earlier, a few weeks ago, Leanne talked about this, but you don't jump in and do all of it. You add one piece at a time. So I've already added nature study. We have a good handle on nature study. I've already added in, you know, chores and daily habits and taking care of them. Um, I've also, we also do well with living books and short lessons. So all those things I kind of do well, but narration was one that I needed to add this year that needs to be done again and done, focused on and done well. I really hope by focusing on these three things, it will help me and my kids take us to the next step in our homeschooling journey. So those are my three goals for this year. Hey, now it's your turn. What are your goals for this homecoming school year? This coming, <laughs> this coming school year. Yeah, I said that way wrong. <laughs> what are your goals for this coming school year? I would love to chat about those in the comments. Let me know also if you would like to see videos on my specific goals for each of my kids. If you like me talking about the Charlotte Mason method, I did mention it briefly here at the end of this video. I am going to have a video coming very soon called How Charlotte Mason Am I? So we're going to talk a little bit more about Charlotte Mason basics and how I implement them in our homeschool. Don't forget the playlist below with all the other amazing homeschool moms and their goals. Can't wait to see them. You guys rock at homeschooling as always. You're doing great, Mama. I hope you can find his joy among the noise and I will see you in the next video. Okay, so, okay, so, I always say that. <laughs>